He was at Colorado State, and he's not there anymore because of a controversy with prayer. More egregiously, on January 16th, Coach Sanders directed a staff member to lead players and coaches in Christian prayer before a team meeting. How dare he? Bruce Lawn. I grew up in the 90s. Born in the 80s, grew up in the 90s. One of my favorite athletes was Deion Sanders. Why? Because he went from the Atlanta Falcons over to my favorite team, the San Francisco 49ers, and they won the Super Bowl. Wow. And it was great against the Chargers. And I lived in San Diego and I was a 49ers fan. Not a good That's look dirty. Me. Oh, yeah. And uh, so Deion Sanders has been uh, an athlete, pretty influential for a long time. And apparently uh, he's a man of faith. So he professes. I'm not sure what theology he's sitting under, but recently he is under some controversy because he was at Colorado State and he's not there anymore because of a controversy with prayer, all right? And so I'm not fully aware of what all this means and the implication of it, okay? But I wanted to look at this story. When Deion Sanders left Jackson State football, so he's a coach, for Colorado, he said God told him to go there. Sanders also said God called him to Jackson State. Is, is, this, is this like a poke? Are they saying like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. He said, God, God said, go to Jackson State and go to Colorado, right? When he was coaching the Tigers during a successful three-year run, uh, there hardly was anyone who would tell him no, even during team-led prayers. In several of his Instagram posts, Sanders was seen praying with his team before practice, meetings, and games. That's a lot of prayer. Shout out to him. Yeah, go. Most Shout folks out. only just pray before games or after games. This brother's praying before practice. Am I, am I reading this correctly? Yep. Before practice. Before practice, meetings, meetings and, games. and games. If anyone had an issue uh, with it at JSU, it never was stated publicly. That ended when he went to Colorado. The Freedom From Religion Foundation sent a letter on January 24th to University of Colorado Chancellor, the athletic director Rick George, claiming that Sanders is engaging in inappropriate and unconstitutional actions by engaging in religious exercises with players and staff members. Okay, look how gross this thing is. The Freedom From Religion Foundation. Ugh. These folks have nothing better to do they with got their time. Pink hair and, yeah. and no the, dad. Than than police police Christians. Yeah. Police Christians for praying with other Christians. Yeah. Because I guess what? If you're not a Christian, you probably don't have to pray with your coach, Deion Sanders. Yep. Right? So these are folks who have nothing better to do than to police coaches who want to pray with their staff. This is a sickness <laughs> of the highest order. It is our understanding that on December 20th, a staff member led other staff members in a Christian prayer to start an official meeting. More egregiously, on January 16th, Coach Sanders directed a staff member to lead players and coaches in Christian prayer before a team meeting. How dare he? There is no doubting that uh, the sporting accomplishment of Deion Sanders. Um, Said freedom from religion. Yeah, but that doesn't give him the right to force his religion upon student athletes as a, at a public university. Hey, you want to see something crazy? 67% of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. Do me a quick favor. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all the videos here on the Bless God Studios channel. I don't know if... Saying, can we open in prayer, is forcing your religion on somebody. Yeah. Okay? If I'm hanging out with someone, Christian or not Christian, mm -hmm. if we're out to dinner, I'm usually going to say, can we pray for the food? Mm, I see. I don't think that's forcing your religion on somebody. <gasps> I think that's just like, this is what we do. If you come over to my house for dinner, if you come over to my studio, mm -hmm. if you come over to my team that I'm coaching, mm -hmm. guess what? We pray here. Now, you don't got to pray. You can keep your hat on and keep your eyes open. Nobody gives a crap what you do. But I do both while I pray. Yeah, you do both <laughs> while you pray. But here, we're going to pray. Yeah. I don't know how that is being contorted to say that he's, quote, unquote, forcing his religion. Fifi RF, which they need a, absolutely need a new acronym. FRIF. For FRIF is a national nonprofit organization with more than 39,000 members across the country, including more than 1,200 members and two local chapters in Colorado. Is this freedom from all religions foundations, or is this just freedom from Christian religion? I'm pretty sure it's just Christian religion. Yeah, there's no way they're like, look, I heard you 
you know, you know what I'm saying? I know where you want to go. Let's yeah. not go there. I can't do any of the impersonations. Don't, don't do any impersonations. We don't want strikes on this don't channel, do it. man. Scroll down. Let's just keep it moving. <laughs> Zach, Zach, that was that was restraint from Zach oh, Sparazzo. I'm, I'm working on it. Contained himself. After being uh, cen- censored? That's like, a horrible selling. It's fen- censored. That's is that how you is. spell censored? That's not how you spell censored. The coaches, uh, the school's executive vice chancellor and chief operating officer said the school's of office of institutional equity, oh gosh, oh. and compliance <laughs> met with Sanders. You know, by the way, you know, BS jobs, bro. You, you know, you know, you know that the vast majority of like diversity, uh, equity uh, heads are white. Oh, goodness. did you know that? No, I like, like ninety five percent of them are white. Wow, which is hilarious when you really think about it. Like diversity heads of yeah, equity yeah. are white. Like they should. If we should should be black, right? Or they should be some sort of should be mixed, actually. Something. (laughs) They need to be multiple races (laughs) in one. That makes no sense. Equity and compliance with Sanders uh, to review policy about when and where coaches and players can engage in religious expression. Okay. He okay, how about whenever he feels like doing it because he's a coach. Coach Sanders was very receptive to the training. <laughs> it's always the training. It's like they try to go uh, make Jordan Peterson go through the training. It's like the Remember? office. It's, yeah. uh, it, it's uh, what was it? Oh, man. Remember. It was like some sort of uh, political correctness day. Yeah. In the office. Yeah. But the second episode. Is it? Yeah, it's oh, the that's second great. episode. That's um, awesome. Coach Sanders very receptive to the training and came away from it with a better understanding of the University of Colorado policies and the requirement of the establishment clause. But not everybody believes that Sanders has been in the wrong. First Liberty Institute, a law firm focused on religious freedom cases, sent a letter on February 28th to the university saying Sanders cannot be silenced, is allowed to exercise his constitutional right as a public employee, and has the right of religious expression on campus. The letter referenced precedent set by the Supreme Court decision of Kennedy's uh, Burnington, in which a high school football coach prayed on a field after games in June, the Supreme Court ruled in the coach's favor. Let's go. Supreme Court ain't been missing lately. I tell you what, just don't come after Section 230. Coach. Yeah. Left or right, at least the Supreme Court's old. Yeah. And that <laughs> coach can pray in public when students and others are witnessing it nearby. This situation is ongoing and has not been resolved. And it also shows that Sanders is no longer in Mississippi, the most religious state in the U.S., according Mm -hmm. to 2016 Pew Research. That's interesting. So he said he felt called to go here. Maybe this is why he felt called to go there. Maybe he felt called to go to a more secular environment and boldly profess his faith. I think this is a uh, this is definitely not the time to try and play with the Supreme Court again because they're going to shoot this down if they if they try to take if they sue the school on behalf of Dion's position. Oh, yeah. This is, this, and this goes to the Supreme Court, like, this is... going to be established. Yeah, it's definitely going to be established, but there's already precedent. I don't know what other precedent you need when this has already been established that coaches can pray with their students, right? That doesn't mean you're held against your will, and if, right, like, I don't, I don't know anyone that prays that way. I wonder if he's trying to be, like, I don't know if he's even trying to be, like, an activist. Who, Dion? Yeah. Like, probably not. Like, he's probably just like, okay, cool, like, I understand this school's position, I'll keep it pushing. And, and we'll just be like, find some loophole, you know, kind of just like not not be too dramatic about it. Nah, but, I, th- I think he needs to turn up. No, I think he needs to. But I'm saying like, it kind of sounds like he's like, I'll go to the training day. I just love football, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a uh, drag queen uh, reading hour at his yep. local library, you know, yep. for his grandkids. Yep. That's OK, though. It's not a religious affiliation. It's a sexual one. This is a sickness <laughs> of the highest order. Hey, this clip is from our daily after party stream. If you enjoyed it, consider signing up for our Patreon community for only $5 a month, where you get access to the replays of our daily after party streams, as well as the uncut extended versions of our podcast, Discord access that's private, and a discount code for our merch store. Only $5 a month. And ultimately, it's the best way to help us contextualize the gospel of Jesus using media, podcasting, and of course, YouTube. The link for that is in the description or in the pinned comment. The perks are amazing. You should get on there. It's only $5 a month. I'll see you over there, all right? Peace.